Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. So, today we're going to be throwing it back a little bit and playing uh, some Tempo Mage, which, as I've learned, is the correct term for the uh, sort of mid-range mage that I play where uh, it's a lot of control and um, not a ton of creatures. I'm a big fan of this deck type. Uh, I kind of have been ever since Ma uh, the Days of Magic. Um, black and blue were my favorite... Uh, types in magic just because that's where you got a lot of counter and kill type cards here you see that all rolled up into one in the mage hopefully we'll see some mill uh, down the road that's the one where you uh make your opponent discard their whole deck when they lose. Um, but <clears throat> at the moment we're just going to stick with the traditional mage meta which i am very comfortable with i think it's kind of fun to just sort of troll people with this kind of uh build where anytime they try and get ahead you're just knocking them right back down this is kind of an interesting opening hand. I'm definitely going to Mana Worm into Arcane Missiles, but, uh, ooh, or Mana Worm into Frostbolt, but, uh, this Sorcerer's Apprentice complicates things a lot, uh, a little bit. It kind of makes it, well, actually, what we'll do is we'll, cool, Worm into Apprentice into Arcane Missiles. We're about to be completely out of cards, though. Ah, bummer. Dark Bomb. I always wondered about this card. Is this a good card? I don't see it get played a ton. It seems good. Two, two mana for three damage? It seems pretty okay. It's like, um... A slightly worse version of uh, Wrath. It could be, could be a lot, a lot worse though. All right, so we're gonna hold off with the arcane missiles till they have some creatures, but we will lay the groundwork for some nice spells because all we got left is spells. Oh my god, we've been out controlled, you guys. This could be a problem. This is now officially a problem. Okay, we're gonna pick this guy and hope to God that he also still hasn't got any minions. Please, please, please. <laughs> this could be trouble. Man, we're, I'm just having some rough luck tonight. You know, the last two episodes I tried to record, or the last two matches, I had AFKers, uh, which is so frustrating when you're trying to record. It's kind of nice when you're just playing, because you're like, ah, free win, free gold. But uh, tonight, I am just getting hit from every side. All right, so uh, we'll just Frostbolt this to keep him from having a board presence. Ping him for one, and we still have no creatures. This is... Not good to bump up against another control deck with this deck in particular because my spin on this is a lot more spell heavy because I love comboing spells together and getting a bunch of like sweet uh, control moves so laid down, control. but uh, that could uh, cost us in the long run. Well, we'll see though. We might be able to just keep this guy under control, no pun intended, um, Job done. until we can. Oh my God, there are no creatures in this deck, you guys. Okay, <laughs> I might have to make some edits. At least we have that Malkazar, so later on we'll have some bigger stuff to play, because right now this is not great. Okay, so now he's got a 4-4. Well, we can't let that happen. Um, and we're at 6 mana. We have a Sylvanas, uh, which is pretty nice, but I think we need to just fucking kill this thing. I think we just... Um, it's just going to get Frostbolt into Firebolt. Um... <laughs> Jeez, okay, so now we're at least getting some half-decent minions, but I have a feeling now he's about to dump a ton of minions. That or he has even more control. I don't know. This Warlock's kind of got me confused. He hasn't yeah, used his hero power once. Yeah, it looks like he might just have a bunch of big old creatures in here. Um, which we're going to just try and counter with even more control than he has. So we'll go ahead and Arcane Intellect, and then we're going to just fireball that 6-6 six, six before it becomes too much of a problem. <laughs> oh my god, this is like a total like spellcaster duel. It's like mage fight. Quick throwing spells every time we lay a creature. Will anything last more than one turn? Nope, not this turn, because I'm about to polymorph arcane missiles that day. Yeah, fuck that. Maybe we'll kill him with draw. With his own draw. Uh <laughs> This <laughs> is just fucking comedy. Oh, this is gold. All right. Um, we have some okay cards now, but we actually just need to poly. Um, do we want to take a risk? Yeah, we'll take a risk. We can arcane missiles, and then we'll be able to at least lay a spell bender um, for later. I know it's pretty useless now, but it'll be nice if we can lay Savannah's next turn. Are you fucking kidding me? Whoops. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> those those odds. I don't know what the odds are of it's a 50/50 each time. Uh, I don't know exactly how percentages work. I'm guess or pr probability works in that case, but I'm guessing it's like 25% or less chance of that happening. Dang. 
That's pretty cool. From the void I come. Um, flame strike, I think. Flame strike, unstable portal, or I could do flame strike, babbling book. Definitely flame strike. Oh, play another creature. You can't. What are you? What are you gonna soul fire me? What are you doing, guy? He really does have a lot of draw. Interesting. I didn't know Spellbender could be used uh, in that way. Weird. I didn't even know that. That was pretty slick. How did it restore five health? Oh, even though it's not a demon because he targeted a demon still. That's fucking weird. So he would have sacked his void caller. Ugh, and now we're going to kill it for him. Oh my god. Um, do we just drop Ice Howl instead and just fuck with him? I think we do. Because it's got charge, so I can take out his Wilfred right away. Yeah, that's our best bet here, and just hope he doesn't have any more control that can take out a 10-6. I don't think Warlocks have any direct removal. I think it's only damage. Um, although, I know they have, like, Twisting Nether, if that is even a Warlock spell. That might be Mage. But, um... I don't know. Does Do you guys think he has even more control? Oh, shit. Oh, he must have been Interesting. I don't think that's what I would have done. I would have probably gone for my 10-6, because that thing's a 10-6. Although, he's may maybe he's making the right call here, because I don't have lethal. But I don't really need lethal. I'm about to polymorph this thing, and he's about to get no value out of it. Which is what I probably should have done last turn in Why retrospect. So we'll poly... Uh, probably should have dropped that first. That's okay. Instead, we'll go ahead and um, babbling book. Arcane intellect. Arcane intellect. That ain't bad. Uh, and then we should always draw first. But our stable portal... This is weird, because we're going to get a card, and we might not be able to afford it. But Arcane Intellect, we also could get two cards that we can't afford. But we get more draw out of that. But this doesn't pull from our total deck. I'm going to go with Arcane Intellect, even though there's a lot of expensive cards in here. And then we'll still Unstable Portal, even though that Sorcerer Apprentice is tempting. And we got an Ancient of Blossoms, which we wouldn't have been able to play. So, you know, could have been worse. And then we waste a 10 6 on one that's okay, though. We have a 10 damage on the board. This guy's got a bunch, or a couple of sheep and a single imp that's going to buff him. Oop! And now it's a 5-6. Well, at least he's going to be able to take out his 5-5. Five, 10-5. Five, five. Good for him. I'm okay here. I still have some pretty good creatures in my hand. This is actually going shockingly well. I was not expecting to just duel with cards back and forth for so long. What a weird opening to this match. I can ease your pain. I don't know how I feel about Mistress of Pain. I don't think she's that good. 3-8 Taunt is pretty nice here. I think, uh... I don't really have enough spells anymore to make this or this super useful. But I think what we do is, um... Ancient into Sylvanas. I'm happy no with that. That's a pretty nice board presence. Taking back control again. He still has a card advantage, but it's a Warlock, so it's kind of to be expected. We have a slight disadvantage on life, but I think the board control makes up for it. Hopefully he plays something actually worthwhile for my Sylvanas to take. To actually take over. And then he draws. What are you doing, guy? Do you have a way to deal six damage, or are you just trying to clear your own board for some reason? Oh, you want to give me one more, I see. I mean, it's really fine with me. Oh, and then he's going to kill it and, like, gain more life or something. This is a weird demon deck this guy is rolling with. I don't know. I think a little too much control for a warlock. I don't think it's going to work in the long run. But I could be super wrong. Maybe he's about to drop a Drax or something to be super salty. That's a cool card. I don't think I've seen that before. Huh. I mean, it's not great, but it's cool. Um, I think what we'll do is... We don't have any really good way to draw here. Flame Waker is always solid, but I don't really have a good way to play a spell. Acolyte. 
Let's do gadgets on two acolyte. We're not even gonna bother killing the wrong one, obviously. It'll just have char or just be ready to attack next turn. Do they still call it summoning sickness in this? I wonder what the term is for cards that don't have charge. What the state that a minion is in at that time. Yeah, this guy might he's still life tapping. You know, I know you got the life for it, man, but do you have the cards? Like, your deck is is holding its own decently, but you don't have a lot to back it up with. Like Total corruption. Total power. Yeah, it's a demon type deck. I mean he's doing okay. It could be worse, right? Um, but I'm about to flame strike and clear most of his board. So, you can make your own call on that, I guess. Um, uh, could have Sorcerer's Apprentice into that, but whatever. Or Flame Wakered into that. That would have been even better. That's okay. Um, we'll do... do we wanna, I don't want to play any more spells. Let's play Sorcerer's Apprentice. And then... That still won't kill my 45. I won't waste my arcane missiles here because that thing again will just be able to attack next turn either way. Dreadsteed, interesting card. Um, I don't quite get it just because four mana for a 1 1. Like, I get it that you can buff it, but then it comes back as a 1 1 again, so I don't know. It's neat. It's like pay for a damn. I mean, I guess you'll get the value out of it almost guaranteed, which is cool. He's got a lot of draw, man. It's gonna cost him though. I think before I kill him, he's gonna fatigue. He's got four cards left in his deck. Maybe he's like pretty last ditch right now. He's got a lot of healing. I'll give him that, but it's shitty healing. It's Voodoo Cat Doctor. This guy's a real, real for uh, for true rank twenty. Uh, Sneed is fun. But let's make sure we don't make a really dumb move here. I don't have a poly, which is what I'd really like. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade these two and ping. So I want eight mana left. So yeah, I think Sneed. Or we could probably get really good value if I... Oh, is Arcane Missiles really good value here? I don't know that it is. This is just such a good target for it. I think, I think we're best off just dropping Sneed then pinging this guy. Oh, now I can't kill this off. Well, fuck. That was real dumb. I did not do the math right on that. Sorry, guys. We will, however, use this to get a little bit of value and keep him losing life. Who knows? Maybe he will attack my gadgets on Auctioneer because it's a pretty good target. I thought that was Battle Cry, not Death Rattle. Shit. I do that all the time. Thank you? I don't know what the point of that was. But he's gonna go for the face with the Infernal, right? No? Guy, you've got 14 life. I guess he has to go for that. Oh no, if you're gonna drop an anti keel bot, which I should be running in every single wild deck, what is wrong with me? Does that mean he has another anti keel bot? Oh, for fuck's sake, he's about to heal up to 30, isn't he? You fucker. <laughs> I swear to God, you predictable bastard. Oh, this is that priest game all over again, you guys. <laughs> Warlock don't want to die. Um, okay, so... We can Malchazar here. We still have an okay position, although I think I only have one flame strike in this deck, which... Hmm, we'll see how long I can t keep that strategy up. Uh, he probably has another Infernal, so now would probably be a good time to drop what a Mirror Entity, but before that, I should drop... Yeah, we'll do Gadget on Auctioneer into Mirror Entity. Into Arcane Missiles, or do I just uh, make this trade out right? I could drop a Mana Worm, but that's just going to die immediately uh, from one of these three threes. And it won't even take it with it. So what we'll do is we'll make this... It's not a trade. And he... Knowing, judging by this guy's skill level, I'm going to say he's going to ping that 5-1 with his 1-1, and I'm going to get another legendary, which I don't know that I would do. Oh, that's okay. No, that's the wrong move. Guy, you have one card in your deck. What are you doing mortal coiling? Oh, that's a bummer. I don't get his uh, ability. And then he attacks Varian. You're at 30, dude. I'm at 18. That would have been 
I'm trying to keep supporting him. Oh, called it, you guys. Called it. Yes. Thank you. That's exactly what I was hoping for. And I can fireball his. <laughs> Fucker. He's a lot of big creatures. Except, no, he's going to have one more of those Doom Guards. No, I have to. And then he's got a blood. Okay, go. Oh, shit, you fucker. You fucking son of a bitch. And I don't have any spell power, do I? You son of a bitch. Um, but, statistically... Oh, I don't know. Okay, so we'll fireball this guy. Do I want the guaranteed or do I want the fun? I kind of want the fun. Oh, I want the super fun. Flame Waker into... Mana Worm, which I should have played earlier as always. Two Arcane Missiles. Come on, Arcane Missiles. Kill that Infernal. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Nailed it! Both targets I wanted to hit. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I guess with Flame Waker, it was pretty unlikely that that wouldn't pop off properly, but still. <laughs> so, this guy's got one Doom Guard, but it's good. I mean, he's out of cards. He's fucked. He's about to concede, I bet. Uh, are you going to try with the Doom Guard at least, or do you only have one? Is that a class card? I'm not sure. It's cute, but that's not going to save you at this point, bud. You can't even really take out any significant amount of creatures. Double implosion. Hey, look at you. I mean, hey, you filled the board. Do... I forget. Did the, does do Warlocks have an AoE buff? I don't think they do. I think that's only Warlocks. Or, excuse me, um, Druids and uh, Shaman. So I think he's just boned. I should just be a good sport. Four, six, seven, eight. Do I have lethal? Uh, I don't have lethal. I can only deal eight, nine damage this turn. Maybe 10, 11. Okay, well, we'll see. Um, so what we'll do is we'll drop another Flame Waker. This will be fun clearing his board, at least. A little unstable portal. I'm almost out of cards. Oh, hey, you gotta be careful. Kill myself with this, uh... Bullshit here. And then Lotus Illusionists. Cool. The Lotus and uh, we got a Vaporize, which I'm going to draw my last card, but it's worth it for the Flame Wakers. Cards. It does mean that I'm going to be taking some damage now. Uh, but I don't have any more spells to play, so at least I don't have to worry about it. That's, is that lethal? That's lethal! You guys, statistics! Haha! -ha. Well <laughs> I did not think we would win that game. Oh, don't be a baby. <laughs> All right, hooray. So that was a pretty long one. Uh, so I'll be right back. I'm going to check on the time, but don't worry. Uh, either way, we are ready to open up a pack, so we will do that before I go. Okay, yeah, so I'm thinking uh, we'll just open a quick pack, and that's going to do it for this episode. That was one of those long drag-out battles, but this one was a lot more fun, I think, than the... Uh, priest that we played last week that was a bit rough uh and i'm going to continue going with classic for now because i'm still hoping to get my sylvanas sylvanas windrunner and my leroy jenkins and a couple other classic legendaries so big money no whammies come on oh my god it's just one rare oh you fuckers i'm gonna disenchant this entire pack let's see just wait he's gonna say five cards available to disenchant ready uh, whoops, sorry, uh, down here, and four, okay, I think I didn't have the vaporize, so at least I got the rare out of it, that's something, anyways though, this was a fun one for me, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, let me know what you thought in the comments, uh, thank you guys so much for uh, watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.